Well, this is our 1904 Buckmobile. Now, they only built 40 of these things. Uh, this car here is very uh, original. Um, all of the wood on the car, except for the right front suspension plank, are all original. And the leather on the seats is original. Now, we do have new cushions here that we use when we drive it, but this is one of the original cushions here, and you can kind of see the condition of it. And that's why we take these off when we drive the cars, so that we don't ruin them and destroy them from there, and we put those temporary cushions in place. It's kind of an unusual car. The Buckmobile comes from the suspension. It's got wooden planks. These long springs come halfway on the plank. The plank is bolted back here, and then that's what carries the front and rear axles. Very powerful car. It has 15 horsepower uh, on a two-cylinder T-head engine. And uh, very fast for the time. Uh, this car, they said it would do 35 miles an hour. This car, without any doubt, will run 40 miles an hour. And I'll tell you, at 35, it's scary. It's 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 very very fast car for the time. Um, very nice running car. Uh, we have the umbrella on here for shade, but we don't drive it with that on there because it. It just too much drag and resistance, we'll say. Kind of an unusual car because it's got a column shift on it. Two-speed planetary transmission. Enclosed, which was unusual, very far advanced for the time. Uh, most of them were all open transmissions. We've got a nice little basket uh, built by uh, Beth Schmidt on here. Uh, and so it's really a fun car, so I think we ought to fire it up and take a drive. So I'll take the umbrella off, and it does have the Ralph Nader approved gas tank in the back of the seat. <laughs> all these old cars are all a little bit different to fire up, and this one here, it's got two oilers on it, so we'll turn the gas on here, and this is the old original valve. Now we've cheated and put a, a modern filter on here just to keep it from having any other issues. Turn the oilers on. There's one behind here as well. Make sure we have oil dripping in here, which we do. And then we give the carburetor a little bit of a tickle here, just so it has a little bit of gas that runs out of it. And then it should be ready to fire up. We pull the compression release out here. Make sure the spark is retarded. Give it just a touch of throttle. Turn the switch on now. We got some fuel in it, so it should go easy. Almost gone. It's got a nice rhythm to you. You can almost dance to that rhythm. Great. Let's take it for a ride. Good running old car.